with friendships i always stay and i've had a lot of like bad friendships <laughs> bad 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 it's hot outside <laughs> it's hot outside and i'm mad about that i really am mad about that because i can't wear what i wanted <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be um, doing my makeup and just talking about the move. And yeah, girl. I'm not gonna show my products because every time I do that, I like forget. But if there's anything I'm using you wanna know, just comment below. I'll get you right. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. It's looking been like, it's been a minute and a lot has happened, so. I gotta put off doing this video because I've just been tired after the move. So like, I've been sleepy, you know, class started, it's hot outside, like, mm -mm -mm -mm. I think I'll just draw them and not conceal them. Actually, I think I just eliminated that option because I drew them too big. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like finally being somewhere being where I want to be and like more so leaning into doing stuff I want to, I'm learning a lot about myself and like also a lot about a lot about people and my interactions with them. I don't even know if these are even. I'm tired. In the past, I really had no boundaries and People absolutely adored that version of me. Like, girl, no boundaries, minimal self-respect. They were eating me up. Like, I was the people's queen. <laughs> I was the people's queen and everybody loved me and like, my heart was so pure. But now that I just have like, not even anything crazy, but I'm just like actually listening to myself more. Like if I don't actually wanna do something, I'm like, mm, I'm not gonna do that. It's just like, the reaction is so interesting and like, I'm not mad at people for being selfish because honey, do what you need to do. But my thing is, and the thing that irritates me the most is a lot of people that play into this moral idea of like, I'm such a good person. I care for the world and the earth. They're the worst ones. <laughs> you give them one no, you're clipped. <laughs> That's what gets me generally. It's not even like, Oh, I don't want to do something so people don't on it. Mm, whatever. For me, I just don't like how much people act like their heart is so pure and they so respect you and they so care about you. But the second you don't do exactly what they want, everything flips. So that's been something. I think it might be a not good eye product. <laughs> please, 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 please. They're not bad. They're not that bad. Also with setting boundaries, it's like, oh God. Literally concealer just got on my pants. <laughs> Anyways, with setting boundaries, it is like literally learning so much because I'm learning how much of the things that I did that were performative and like weren't for me at all. Yeah, because my biggest thing was like, I really wanted to start over in a lot of ways with my move. like. I learned a lot of very good lessons the last place I was and I didn't want to be in this new place and like kind of continue anything on if that makes sense like what I learned about setting boundaries I didn't want to get here and form any relationships not setting boundaries and then have to change that so I really really wanted to honor the lessons that I learned and step into this new place as a new person which I've been doing for the most part obviously but it's just it's challenging to break habits but also because of how much validation how much validation you get for feeding into people makes it really hard to stand on your own and makes it kind of just like another encourager for you to silence yourself and BS and blah, blah, blah. Because like, if you do then people will like you more and people will call you nice and blah, 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 you know? So moving here with my boundaries, just encountered a lot more kind of confusion. Cause like, we're all supposed to be like pretending that we want to be a certain people. I don't know, like, <laughs> I'm not trying to speak on society, but just everybody really expects you to pretend, period. And then when you don't, they're like, girl, Hmm. Wee, 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 wee. 
<laughs> and no, I'm not French. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, also looking here, I am trying to like find the balance between like loneliness and isolation or like, I don't know, like just loneliness in a positive, like growing way. My mirror keeps on, but no, like lonely, loneliness in a positive way to where you're just taking care of yourself versus loneliness just because you're scared and stuff, you know? Um, I also realized I have a lot of trauma from friendships with females, like friendships with women, but I've never taken time off to really unpack that. Like with dating, I've like kind of, with dating, I'm more aware of, I guess, bad experiences I've had, but I really haven't had that many. Like, I can't even really count on my fingers because um, one thing about me, I leave and quick. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah when it comes to dating like I leave pretty fast so things don't really get that bad but with friendships I always stay and I've had a lot of like bad friendships <laughs> back to back to back <laughs> like I've had a lot of like horrible friendships back to back to back and I never like took a break from it to really sit and heal and process and try to figure out like why that keeps happening why do I keep attracting these people like how do I keep getting used how do I keep getting played because like I view, I view friendships just as important as romantic relationships, but society doesn't. And there's always that um, foundational aspect or element that society is going to have in your life. So while I do, I always say this, like, I feel like people trump romantic relationships over friendships and I don't know why. I believe that, but I wasn't exercising that in the way of healing, if that makes sense. Like, I didn't like I literally never even thought that I would need to heal from a friendship because I'm just like I don't know I'll, I'll just like not like it, it was just something that I've literally never thought of so in this season I am trying to you know make that an intentional act like go out of my way to do that it's like right under here and I need to fix it you see that <laughs> I'm gonna go powder and then I'm gonna go blush and then I'm gonna go and since I'm not doing foundation I use my darker powder <laughs> anyways where was I going with that but yeah just the idea of being intentional and like assessing that like how I would a romantic relationship because in dating like even outside of relationships like if something happens I always like take a step back and I'm like okay like you don't want to just like rush into something like back to back but I feel like with friendships I've kind of been like a I don't want to call myself out my name but I'm super like on to the next on to the next on to the next and so I'm finally going to stop <laughs> and like assess why these patterns are so you know because back to back to back is crazy <laughs> but no i think a major difference is me like finally um respecting myself just a pinch more <laughs> and like setting boundaries and things like that um it just doesn't work anymore like there's just a level there's a level of just like <laughs> none of <laughs> There's just a level of degrading yourself that if you enter the relationship at that state, if you get self-respect, that relationship is done because your relationship was built on the foundation of you not having a foundation, of you not respecting yourself, of you not caring about yourself, of you never putting yourself first ever. So those relationships just can't continue. But yeah, in my journey of, you know, learning, <laughs> I kind of don't know what to do. I kind of feel like confused. But I I think I'm doing it right, but I'm just not sure because I I don't think I've ever really seen somebody talk about like stepping back from toxic friendships and like learning from it and healing from it and what your steps are. So I think I'm even, I think I'm chewing, but I could be wrong. <laughs> and yeah, also like, it's just bad timing because since I just moved, the first thing I want to do is like go out there and like meet people and make friends. But I am trying to like, 
slow myself down um, until I genuinely feel ready to do that again because I just I just never viewed these things as a problem so there's only so many ways I can say that it's just the truth I just never viewed these things, these things as a problem so now I'm trying to do that and I'm eating what else has been happening um hot outside <laughs> it's hot outside and I'm mad about that I really am mad about that because I can't wear what I wanted I already have less clothes I have some fits but they're long sleeve I'm gonna sweat I'm gonna die I'm gonna pass out like so I really am mad about the weather if it doesn't calm down soon I'm gonna be so mad and also for the first time I'm <laughs> I I can't for the first time in my life, I got allergies. I literally used to think allergies were a myth. I'm not joking. <laughs> so yeah, I was very angry to find out um, intimately that allergies are real. So that's one. But yeah, not much to update on. Like, it's not like a crazy amount of stuff is happening. I just like, just finally respect myself a little bit. <laughs> that's all. Just laying a boundary or two. And yeah, like the guilt is getting better and better about setting boundaries and stuff. And I just like, it's not as serious anymore as it was. I feel a lot less guilty. But yeah, so now it's less about um, the act of setting boundaries. And it's just more about like how to actively listen to myself and like shut down the people pleaser in me and just be like, no, like, what do you want to do? And I'm getting better at that too, so. But yeah, I just feel like it's just so interesting. Life is just so interesting. Like all these things I'm learning, I'm like, wow. Damn. Now my highlighter is hanging on by God's grace. <laughs> oh my goodness, where I can't. <laughs> this is so funny. The state of some of my makeup products is actually hilarious. But anyways, <laughs> for real. Yeah, I just feel like it's so interesting the dynamic of life and where that takes you and like what you have to do and like how to be successful and how to not get played and what to do after you get played like there's just so much life has to offer no cap <laughs> I joined a run club um and it's very interesting like obviously yes I did do it because social media tiktok join a run club find your lover um, I'm just like the rest of you. But runners are like the nicest people I've ever met. Like I've I've just never met a nicer group of people, genuinely. And so yeah, um, with the run club, I'm enjoying it. Like, you know, it's cute. Actually I go like every other week because random stuff comes in the way. Like this weekend, I went, I went, the past weekend, but this upcoming weekend, I'm gonna do my hair, so. Honey, one thing matters more, hello. But yeah, it's just very interesting. Like literally runners are so nice. So yeah, that's great. Um, I'm trying to tell y'all not much has been happening. I'm doing, I'm doing the same thing I do everywhere else. Learning, healing, growing. So yeah, that's the big thing. But with starting over, it is, it definitely like re-upped my anxiety, I guess, or just me being more nervous all the time. Like, because it's such a big decision and not even such a big decision, but just there's nothing in your wheelhouse. Like, I feel like if I moved here with someone, it wouldn't have been that serious. But because it's just me and I'm just like figuring everything out, all of my decisions, I'm like questioning it a lot. So, and also I'm so tired of this hair. It's on Amazon. This French curl hair is like, it's like yarny and threadish. It's not like Knickelon hair because it's like, it's just not good. But yeah, I'm ready to take this hair down, down, down. I'm trying to think of anything else to tell y'all. Like, I really just mind my business. And so yeah, that's all I have for today keeping you
and keep being grew. For real, for real. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know what else to say. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.